I want to hear three. Okay. They have three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How nice. Ready? 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 Go. I have the right person. Who's first? See? Oh, yeah, that's so nice. Okay. So. Really? I'm the voice on the phone. Yep, she's the voice on the phone. Yes. Somebody's asking questions. Okay, yeah, here, here. Uh, how is it hard to live with uh, Steve? <laughs> is it hard to live with Steve? Is it hard? You, you know, it's, it, why is it that I get asked that so I know. often? I run all the time. Is it hard? To, it, it is so hard, you have no idea. <laughs> you, you, you have to be... Uh, have your mind in ten places at one time. Wow. Yes, yes. Um, it, it takes training. Ah, so, training. So the, the, the solution is to, to have a house that's, that stretches out and you put a barrier and you say, you stay there and I stay here and I'll talk to you in an hour. <laughs> so, yes, yeah. Okay. Next question. Um, why did you call oh. them with your team? Oh. That's not oh. I will, I will record this, okay? And oh, I will ask again. Oh, what, what, that, Steve is so good a person that um, the problem is, is when I met him and anybody who needed help or had a great idea, no matter how poor Steve was, you know, he pull out money from somewhere and help them out. In fact, I knew Steve for two months before I believed he owned a car because he always came on bicycle, or or that he could afford a place to live because I, he wouldn't let me come to his house. The reason? Because he had some African students who had run out of money at his school, and so he gave them his car. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and and the reason I could never come to his apartment was because nobody cleaned. Okay. And there was Steve with what three men who were seven feet tall and very dark living there, and he knew I would be scared away. Okay. So I said, "This man needs help. I'm, I'll be needed here." Okay. So that's so I, I think you know um, I know that I'm useful for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Yes. Now you can ask her cultural questions. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Where were you born? Where was I born? Ah, okay. Um, do, do you know where the do you, do you know about mid, the Midwest of, of the United States? Yeah. The heart of the United States. I, I come from the heart of the Midwest, even though it a little up there called Milwaukee. And no. Oh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. And it's an Milwaukee Indian name. Box. We have a lot of Indians where I live. Wow. And, and um, those who are not Indian, there are a lot of people from Germany. So we are actually the beer capital of the United States. <laughs> and the bowling capital of the world. Bowling. Yes, bowling capital of the world. Yes. So I don't know if they bowl much in other countries, but in the Midwest, it's as common as uh, more, even more common than baseball and football. Wow. Yeah. Very popular. We see in the movies that they like to bowl. American people like to bowl, but uh, I didn't know that it would be more famous than baseball there. Oh, uh, in, in the, there. But it, here we don't bowl. Here they bowl. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah, oh, we love bowling. We love bowling. Beer, beer bowling, um, and cheese. They, <laughs> they, where, where I come from, they, they have, we call it a nickname. Do you know the mm -hmm. word nickname? Yes. yes. Okay, okay uh, they, they call people from Wisconsin cheese heads. Cheese heads. <laughs> cheese heads. Because we, we make and eat so much cheese. And we're probably bigger people. <laughs> than much of the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, a lot bigger. Yeah. In, in fact, meeting Steve was very hard because Steve comes from a family that is um, 
you know, vegetarian. You know, they, you know, they, they eat uh, uh, vegetables, yeah. no, no animal no, not, not products. Not you know, and where I come from, you know, it's, it's all cheese and meat. Okay. Skin. Yeah. yeah. So we use. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So let me see. Um, I use go. You know, you usually people ask me things like, um, "Oh, do do um, American men um, help with the housework much? Who does the cooking? Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, uh, who does the the driving? Uh, is his." Uh, mother much of a part of our family. The good news is no. <laughs> you know, we are not so close to, to um, well, some, we are close, but you know, uh, the families are, are not as together here. Okay. My mother lives in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here. That's where I was born. Mm -hmm. And so we visit every two years. <laughs> well, yeah. but the, but the, see, the, you see how Steve yeah. Steve tends to carry things and no, not, it's not very I, neat. I said one day, your wife, I think she must be crazy because you have a lot of stuff. Then I can. Oh imagine. yes. <laughs> so I we have uh, uh, many baskets. We buy empty yeah. plastic baskets. And when I get too crazy, I run through the house and everything goes in the <laughs> basket, and I put the put a big sign on. This was collected on, you know, uh, June 30th. Wow. Well, okay. And after a while, well, the baskets add up. Yeah. No, it's not. It's it's not easy. 